Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, first of all, I want to apologize. Somebody in my house, mom, decided she was going to do laundry right now when I'm trying to film mom. So what I'm going to do is um, take out the background noise when I edit this video. So if my audio is a little bit funny, mom. Um, I'm sorry, but <laughs> uh, today I'm actually going to be comparing two different powders. They're both from the same company, which is what I'm most excited for, but I've heard so many good reviews on this other one. So what we're talking about is from Cody Airspun. I have both my powders right here. You guys know I use the Cody Airspun powder in translucent, like in all my videos. I think it's a great, great powder. It's super duper affordable, um, but I have been hearing so many good things about the extra coverage powder. So I did purchase it. I got it on Amazon, A, because I have Amazon Prime and I wanted it fast, and I wanted to pay for no shipping. So I did spend $10.99 on the extra coverage powder, and the original uh, formula is only $5.99, so you are paying, let's say, double. Um, so you do get the same amount of product, it's just supposed to have extra coverage. Um, just uh, one little fact before we start going into this, I did find the Cody Airspun extra coverage powder for less money than $10.99 on different websites like you know walmart.com or whatever. The only thing is that you do most likely have to pay for shipping and there might be like a minimum. Um, in order to get it shipped. So just keep that in mind where you purchase it uh, could be different pricing and they could have different rules. So what I have here again is both of the powders. I've already got my foundation on and what I'm going to do is use the um, extra coverage to set this side of my under eye and I will use the regular powder over here um, to set my under eye and I will use the extra coverage to set the center of my face. So let me go ahead and open these up. Um, I did already take out the sifter. I don't like the sifters in here. They kind of just get in my way, so I always take them out. Here we have both products. This one is the extra coverage, and this one is the regular translucent. As you can see, uh, again, these are both in translucent, but they look the exact same, and they smell the exact same, so... I don't personally like the scent of Cody Airspun. I don't know if anybody does. But they have a scentless one if you're interested. I just don't know if the scentless one also comes in extra coverage. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, get some concealer on and I'll be right on back. Okay, so I've got concealer down the center of my face. I am using from Maybelline. It's the Adroid in the color Light. And um, I will be setting with the Morphe Beauty Sponge. I'm going to use one side for the extra coverage. I'll flip it over to the clean side and use that one for the regular one. So that way I don't have any issues between the two. And I do always set my under eyes right after I've done blending it out. So here we go. This side is going to be the extra coverage. Use about that much and I'm um, going to go right on in and blend this out. So this one is the extra coverage powder, and again, I'm just going to go right on in. It's about that much, and I set immediately. And I don't use like a ton of excess product. I really just kind of use enough to set, and I'm really just pushing it in. Okay, so that is the dirty side. As you can see, the other side will be nice and clean. So I will do concealer over here. Okay, so flip it. This is the dirty side. Flip it over to the clean side, and I'm going to go into the regular Cody Airspun in translucent and just set my whole under eye area right away. I'm going to use basically the same amount. Um, obviously, I can't control if it is perfect or not, but I mean, I know how much I use, so. There we go, and then flip it back over, so I just use this side. I'm going to go back to the extra coverage side and just set the rest of my concealer. And I do always set my whole nose area. 
right up here. Okay, so I'm going to set the rest of my face with my NYX No Filter Powder. This is in the color Classic Tan, and I do use a Maybelline powder brush. This is super densely packed. It's at an angle, so it really kind of cups and sits on the face really nicely. And I just push this in. Then I'm going to go in with a dual fiber brush and just brush off any excess powder. So I will go like that. I'm going to brush this off on a towel right here so that I can wipe this away. Okay, so here we have both sides of the face. So right off the bat, I'm not seeing a difference. Um, if I'm being extremely, extremely picky, um, I can see a bit more of my dark circles on this side, which has the regular translucent powder, and this side, which has the um, extra coverage. I don't see them quite as much. But honestly, that is only if I know myself, know my skin, and I am like really being super uh, judgy, you know, I'm, I'm like really looking into my face and the coverage on here. Um, I think that a normal person looking at me right now wouldn't see a difference at all between my two eyes. So that's just kind of where I'm at right now. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face off camera, come back on, we'll do some check-ins. Okay guys, full face is on, hair is done. Um, oh, can you stay? Thank you. So, here's where I'm at right now. I definitely can see a difference in person. Um, the full coverage side does cover my under eye darkness right around here more than it does on this side, which is the regular coverage. However, I can say that this has never been an issue for me. I've never noticed it before. I never thought that I needed more coverage there. But being very picky and knowing the difference, I can see it. But again, I can say that a normal person looking at me wouldn't think that I've got two different powders on. And they wouldn't think that it looked weird. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I will go ahead and do one more check-in at the very end of the day before I wash my face off so that we can see if uh you know how it lasts after a typical day of wear so right now it is 1204 i will check back in later on tonight oh by the way i've got my ashley teasdale body illuminant on um if you are liking my little body bronzy tannis going on i will link that video down below for you Okay guys, so it has been a very long time since I checked in with you and I wanted to give you my final thoughts on this extra coverage Cody Airspun Powder. That is a mouthful. Um, it definitely does have more coverage. I know that at the beginning I wasn't quite too sure, but I went out, I've been um, in natural sunlight, I've been in my lights, and I've been checking like crazy. And I can say that I do definitely notice more coverage on the extra coverage powder than with the regular one. Having said that, the regular one is also amazing. And I don't think that everybody needs to run out and get the extra coverage one um, because I have absolutely no problem with how the regular powder looks for me. And I think that it does a beautiful job. Um, they both smell the same, they both look the same, and they both last just as long as the other one does. But the extra coverage one does provide a little bit more coverage. So there you have it. Um, total two thumbs up for me. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive, but I do think it is worth it. And if you're looking for a powder that's going to give you a little more coverage, if you've got heavier or darker under eye circles, you definitely would want to give this one a try. But if you already have the original Cody Airspun powder and you don't have any issues with it, I don't think you need to jump out, run out, and purchase the extra coverage one. Um, so yeah, there you have it. That is my review on the Cody Airspun regular powder versus the extra coverage powder. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you have tried it and love it way more than I do, I definitely want to know. Please share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really love it. And um, go ahead and check out 
the video that'll be linked in this picture right here if you want to see some more stuff from me and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!